Michael said we should wait in the on-call room, so uh, I think this is it. Here. I'll, uh, I'll go see if I can track him down and, and you wait here, okay? Vanessa? What? Thank you for doing this. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, I didn't promise that I would end the pregnancy. I just said I would come here and find out all the medical reasons why I should. I know, I know, and I, I appreciate that. Yeah. I'll be right back. certainly look wonderful. As a matter of fact, I've never seen you glow like that before. Must be that cute husband of yours. Hey, you. Who's that? Oh, excuse my manners. This is Danny. His mommy's down having a checkup, and he was getting a little fussy. So I said I'd take care of him, didn't I, precious? Yes. Can I, can, can I hold him? Oh, you are such a lady killer. Look at, they're already after you. Sure. Yeah. Look at that. Careful. Can I take you oh, for a minute? Oh, yes. Can I take you for a minute? Yes, yes, yes. Do you think this is a good idea? Oh, dear, sweetie, dear, darling. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Holding one of these newborns can make you want to have one all over again, can it? This is ridiculous. I am perfectly capable of walking just by myself. I've been doing it since I was, I don't know, a just year old. Me. Can I get you anything? How about something no. to drink, something to eat? No. I'm fine. Oh, my gosh. Please don't treat me like an invalid. I feel fine. I'm I really do. judge of that. Relax. Well, the, yeah, the lack of judgment you two are showing lately, I think I'm going to call the shots for a while, yeah, okay? Don't come down so hard on Harley. I was the one who had a committee. You should have put yourself in the room next door. I'm, I'm an equal opportunity blamer. I, you're just you know as what? much a fault as she is. Don't, don't, don't blame just Jenna, down. okay? Because she may have come up with the plan, but I was the one who went through it. I'm a woman. I have my own mind. Which you almost lost because of a mega dose of those anti-psychotics. Dad, don't be so dramatic. Listen to me. I chose oh. to do it. She came up with the plan. I did it, though. Don't remind me. Here. Come here. Sit down. I really Take can't, alone. because you know Let what? I have to work. We should really forget. try to finish the work. Listen, forget about it. I agree with this idea. I will take care of the P.I. stuff, okay? I feel okay. I'm tired, but I feel okay. You feel okay, but you still have the drugs in your system. Until they're out, you're not going anywhere. Your father's absolutely right. Buzz, could I have just a second with you, please? Do you mind? No. What? what? Danny, come with me. What? Just, well, I just what? have something I... I want to show you. Oh. Come on. Be right back. <laughs> Don't you? No. Oh, what? You don't have to be that secretive. I just, I just. <sighs> I think you're. I think you're just overdoing it a little bit here. Over... Overdoing what? What Harley said to you when she was under the influence of the drugs about not being around. When she was a little girl, you can clearly see she loves you very much, all right? Yeah, so... well, she, I'm not the only one she has affection for. I mean, her and Philip. I mean, a Spalding? Buzz, don't do about? this. She's a grown woman. If she wanted you to know about her personal life, she would have told you. Well, I found that in her truth serum. Isn't that typical? The answer always the last to know. Yes, they usually are. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. What are you guys whispering about out there? Um. No, no. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing, nothing. Really nothing. You're not going to get up off this couch. Don't even think about it. I'm going to get you a cup of tea with some um, orange blossom honey. Oh. Your favorite. Dad, I don't want you to go to any Oh, uh, don't even it. waste nothing. your breath with your father. Listen to me. <laughs> So, Jenna, fill me in. What's going on with the search for Reva's sister? Well, Reva and Josh took the information that you found in Annie's diary, so with any luck, they'll find this Rhonda woman any minute now. Oh, that witch isn't going to know what hit her. Annie, it's going to happen, Blake. Ms. Dutton is finally going to get what's coming to her. Uh, well, spill it. Who's on the phone? My ace in the hole person who's going to help me ruin Annie's day, maybe all of her days. <laughs> you know, I, I want you to try the caviar puffs. The cook made them especially for you, kind of a, a welcoming home oh, present, Oh, I huh? love this. What a welcome home. It's spoiled. 
Rolling Stone. Well, I'm glad to hear you be so comfortable with this. Oh, that's because of you. I cannot thank you enough for getting me out of that horrible place. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to well, spoil you rotten, you know. You sure do. Now, now tell me, what did you think about the picnic? I, uh, oh, that reminds me, we never had dessert. Well, do you know how grateful I am to you for getting me out of that psych award? I'm very, very grateful. I'll show you later. <laughs> well, I couldn't have done it without you, you know. I mean, you see how smoothly things go when you don't go off the deep end, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Spaulding. I know you wanted to be... I just want to know which one of you did. Wait, 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 what are you talking which about? Which one of you is responsible for Harley getting the drugs? You come in here storming in here about these crazy accusations about this uh, person, uh, Harley. Ha Har Harley. Har uh, Harley who? Oh, you, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? No. You don't even know who Harley is. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about somebody changing Harley's patient chart at County General. And I think I just figured out who it was. Do you have any proof, Philip? You know what happens when you give somebody a medication like that when they don't need it, don't you, Annie? Uh, well, let me tell you what happened. She got so paranoid that she tried to climb through the skylight and she almost broke her neck. Philip, you know that I am fond of Harley. I know how you feel about her and I can assure you I would do nothing intentionally to hurt her. I know you didn't do it, Dad. No, I know who did it. You changed her chart all by yourself because you're a nurse <laughs> oh, and you know exactly how Are to do it. Are you serious? I mean, this is, this is really absurd. Are you just going to let your son stand there and accuse me of these terrible things, Alan? Ellen, say something. De defend me. Ellen. You tell him. That's brilliant. <laughs> it's perfect. I oh, I wish I'd thought of it myself. I would give anything to get even with Annie for everything she's done to me and Ross. Blake, we have got to keep this to ourselves. If Josh and, and Ross find out what we're up to... Oh, my lips are sealed, I promise. But wait, me? Does, it, does this mean I get to help you, Rick? Really? Help for what? What are you guys talking about? Huh? Uh, uh, hold, What's hold that. What's going on here? Hold that, coffee, that thought coffee. right there. Hello? Hi, Reeve. It's Jen. I just thought I'd check up and see if you had any word on Rhonda. As a matter of fact, she was just here. You're kidding. Before you go flying the flag of victory, let me just tell you something. She was a fake. A well-informed one, but a fake nonetheless. Two guesses who hired her. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I had no idea that, that Harley and I were taken in, too. Taken in? We were taken in about what? Don't blame yourselves. I certainly don't. Alan and Annie have had plenty of experience deceiving people, but they fooled the best of us. I know. Listen, there's something else I think I should uh, inform you about. It's Harley. She, well, she had a situation. Apparently, somebody drugged her with this this antipsychotic drug. Well, thank goodness, Philip. Sense that there was something up, and he called me and Buzz, and we got to the hospital soon before anything major occurred. What do you mean? This drug, it apparently, you know, made her very anxious. It even made her hallucinate. In fact, so much so that she tried to climb through the skylight. Is she all right? She is now, yes. You know, Jenna, tell Harley that we're going to make them pay for this. I swear it. And tell her, too, that I'm going to call her later when she feels more like talking. All right, I'll, I'll tell her, and we'll speak very soon. Okay. Let me, let me, let me talk. Reba. It's gone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, apparently, Rhonda was an imposter. Annie had deliberately put that information into her diary, knowing that you would probably find it. It was phony. Yeah. The whole thing was a setup. Yeah. How could I be so stupid? Don't blame yourself. Reva said to tell you, don't blame yourself. No, I do blame myself. 
because I should have listened to the voice in my head that said Annie was planning a scam. I was so cocky when I found that diary, and I avoided listening to the voice that said, Harley, this is too easy. Think about it. It's too easy. Harley, don't beat yourself up about this. We had no way of knowing. She's very tricky. Okay. But now I know. I am not giving up on well, this. Thing. Neither am I. I've got many more oh, questions. Wait, wait, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Neither one of you are going to do anything else in this case. It's closed. Well, I don't think it's your decision to make. Oh, is it you? yours? The woman that had her partner committed to a loony bin? Oh, so you're not going to blame yourself for all of this. Now you are going to blame me for everything. Well, it was your brilliant idea, which I might point out had absolutely no effect. You got no useful information. Nothing. Thanks for pointing that out, Dad. Look. I am not allowing you to put yourself or my daughter in danger again. If you do, I'm going to do something about it. Do you understand? Perfectly. Knock, knock, knock. Yes, you seem to have all the symptoms of babyitis, don't you? Mm -hmm. When you hold one of those newborns, don't you just ache to have one, too? Oh, it makes you realize how fast the time goes, how quickly they grow up, doesn't it? Oh, it seems like yesterday I had Beth in my arms taking her home from the hospital. <laughs> I never did that with Dinah, but I did with Bill. I remember the day so well. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. <laughs> Babies are such miracles, aren't they? The way they smell, their little fingers. Give me you better give him back to me, Vanessa. What? Well, before that look I see in your eye, before you see Matt with that look. <laughs> All right. I think I'd better give this little bundle oh. back to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I got you back, sweetheart. And I didn't mean what I said about the baby being dangerous. I mean, you have three children. You probably have got to stop that kind of longing, haven't you? No. I don't think any woman who's ever had a baby ever gets over that kind of longing. Why is it I better take you back to your mom. Your Vanessa and I are going to steal you. Yes, we're going to kidnap you. Oh, Matt, I'm sorry I didn't see you standing there. I told Vanessa she better not get any ideas. <laughs> We're leaving. Bye. I caught up with Michael. He said he got hung up with a, a patient. He uh, should be here any minute. hard for you, wasn't it? What? Holding that baby. Oh, no, it wasn't hard at all. It was perfectly natural. I just wanted it to last. <sighs> Sorry. It's just the way I feel. Sorry. I, I know. I can't help the way I feel either. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. I was helping out with a patient. Hopefully I won't get paged again. Do you want to sit down? So, what can I do for you guys? Well, we all know that you know Vanessa's condition better than anybody, Michael. That's true. And so we wanted to pick your brain and see about all the possible scenarios. Look, I'm trying to be really hopeful here, because I want to have this baby. And I, you know me, you know the disease. And I thought that you could tell me, tell us something Something wonderful, something helpful that would give us hope. What? I'm, I'm afraid not. <sighs> Nobody has anything they'd like to say. Philip, is Harley all right? I mean, is she? Yeah, yeah, she's fine, Dad. Not that I really think you'd give a damn, but she's fine. She was lucky. Because when we came in, she was about to reach for the skylight. Mm. So in a couple of seconds, she might have brought the whole damn thing down on top of her and cut herself to pieces. What the hell is wrong with you? How could you do that to her? I didn't do anything. 
anything. Stop, Stop lying. Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. I, I, I don't even know a Harley woman. I, I, we I, all know Harley was your roommate at County no, General. No, 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 no. My roommate was Caitlin, oh, and you know God. that. I mean, she read your palm. I mean, she's the one who kissed you. I, I, Caitlin had some problems, but I was fond of the girl. I would never Annie, do something like that to her. Who are you? Where is the girl that I helped get sober up at Ed Bauer's cabin? That was kind and decent and wanted to try to fix her life. What the hell happened to her? Do you want to know what happened to me? Do you want to know? I'll tell you. Everybody in my damn life lies to me, and that includes you, Philip. Reva took away my husband. She took away Mar and Shane. I can't have babies. I don't have any family. That is what happened to me. That You're... does not justify what you did. <sighs> God, you know, if I wasn't so mad, I would probably just find this all very sad. But I am sick of you, and I am sick of it. Of course, I see the moral paragon over there. I know where a lot of this behavior has come from. Emily, you just gonna stand there and let him talk to us like that? Philip, yeah. Go ahead, Dad. Go ahead, Defender. I would like to hear it. I would like to see you stand there and look me in the eye and tell me that she didn't do this to Harley. I didn't do anything wrong. I like Kate or uh, Har whatever the hell her name is. I what liked her. What was Harley doing at County exactly General? Exactly what you think she was doing. Keeping tabs on Anne. Oh. Oh, she was spying on me. That, that's just great. That's just great. What, is she, what could she possibly hope to find out from me? Where Reva's sister is. Ah. Well, then... Harley was wasting her time because I have no idea where Reva's sister is, okay? I gave up on that ages ago. Annie drugged Harley? You'd think being in a mental institution would have slowed her down. But no, she still finds time in between therapy sessions to wreak havoc. It's unbelievable what Alan and Annie are capable of. I mean, Harley was almost killed because she was trying to help me find my sister. You, you know what? I'm not going to let them get away with this. Where, where are you going? I'm going over to the smalling no. dump, and I'm going to... No, I won't let you do it. Please, Please okay. Joshua, for, for, for my sake, for the kids' sake, just leave it alone. Alan and Annie aren't worth it. They're not worth it? Leave it alone? You don't sound like yourself, Reba. What's going on? What, what, what do you two have going on here, huh? I d just I, I no, don't want any I, more trouble. I understand what Reba's doing here. I mean, she just wants to put the whole nightmare behind her, right? Isn't that why you, you didn't press charges against Annie in the first place? Right. This thing is not going to be over as long as Alan is helping Annie pull strings. I got to go deal with these people, Reba, or you're never going to find your sister. Continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Just for the record, I want you to know, I don't believe a word that comes out of either one of your mouths. All I know is that a very good friend of mine got hurt. And I swear to you, I am not going to let it happen again. Philip, I can assure you that Harley is in danger from neither one of us. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know which one of you I feel more sorry for. You, for having this man as a patron? Or you, Dad, for being under the spell of this wacko? Although I guess, I, I guess you deserve each other. Listen, listen, I don't have to stand here and take this. Actually, Annie, you know what? You do. You do. As long as you want to stay in this house, you do. Because as of tomorrow, I'm moving back in. Wait, wait, you're joking. No, I'm not joking, Dad. Tomorrow. And you know what? I'm going to be here every minute of every day. I'm going to be in your face. I'm going to be watching everything you do. You're not going to be able to sneeze without me knowing about it. I am going to find out what it is you're up to, one way or another. I'll see you in the morning. We? Yeah, Annie? we. Well, I mean, we can't let Phil find out what we're doing at Lewis Oil or Spalding, for that matter. You're absolutely right, Annie. We can't.
Well, uh, sweetheart, isn't this just great that you're bringing all this stuff? Well, what are friends for, right? It's lovely. Harley, are you sure I can't get you anything before I leave? Yeah, yeah, actually, there is one thing you can get me. Um, a muzzle for my father. <laughs> oh, sorry, fresh out. Although it's a lovely idea. Well, in that case, no, thanks. There's nothing. Where is it you're going? I'm going to pick up Coop from his playgroup, unless you have an objection. Of course not. Oh, good. I just thought I ought to check. You were passing out orders earlier on. Oh, I come thought on. I should ask come permission. Come on, you're taking this out of context. Oh, you are. I mean, I would have. Is it wrong for me to be protective of you and my daughter? Come on. Of you know what? I, maybe we could not do this. I just thought we'd moved what? out of the dark ages and that, you know, you agreed that the women in your life today should be independent and self sufficient. Oh, please, Petula. I, I, I'm trying to be a man of the 90s, you know? Now, would that be the 1890s or the 1790s? Good line. Good going, Dad. You know, if it's any consolation, I'm an old-fashioned girl myself, always swimming against the tide. <laughs> Finally, a fellow dog paddler. And I thought I was all alone in the wilderness. Oh, no, Buzz. Oh, no, you'll never be alone when I'm around. Hello? Hey, 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 how are you doing? Hey, Philip, yeah. come on in. Everybody else has. You leave the hinges on the door, why don't you? Sorry. It's frustrated. Being with my father and Annie does that to me. I hope you didn't leave them standing. You know, it's... I confront them, they play stupid. Don't let them play. Don't worry about it. I'm far from finished with them. I know how you feel. Dad, you know what? Thanks for the use of your couch, but I'm going to head on home. I don't want to hear anything. Huh? Are you, no, wait a minute. Are you no, sure you, you want to do that? Maybe you wouldn't be... Uh, I'll, I'll take you. No, hey, well, she doesn't need a chauffeur. I'll get her home when she needs to get home. No, actually, I am perfectly capable of getting home all by myself. No, Thank you, you both. You, you need some wheels, though. The, you, you got here because I drove you here, so... You... Right. Okay, well, if your offer still stands, you can be my escort. My Thank pleasure. You. I bet. Dad? Huh? Please tell Jenna that I'll call her later and get that worried look off your face. I really feel fine. Thank Noah for these balloons. They're terrific. Uh, okay, uh, bye. Um, but, let's see you, oh, 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 listen, I'll, I'll, I'll stay with her for a while. Make sure she's okay. Oh, I feel so oh, much oh, better. Oh, Harley, the, the chicken cacciatore. Oh, darn. <laughs> oh, the chicken cacciatore. Yeah. The best. It's the best. Oh. You like it? Oh, please. You know, Jenna, she's sort of one of these coco vin kind of people. But I mean that this with a, the sauce, with a, <laughs> you know, the, the mushrooms and the pepper. I mean, that's the, my favorite thing on the menu. Oh, it's mine, too. Um, so have the police come up with any uh, new leads or anything? About what? About the uh, secret admirer. Oh, the stalker. No, I, you know, I, 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 so much been happening, I almost forgot about it. Oh, that's good. That's good. It is? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's good? very good, yes. It's good? Why do you say that? Um, well, you know, because you're engaged and you're going to plan a wedding, and weddings are very special, but, you know, they're also very stressful, and heaven's sakes, you don't need any more stress in your life, so it's best just to forget about that and take a deep breath and, you know, just. Get on with it, right? <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I'm crazy about you lately. Oh, you are? Yep. Yep. I am. Crazy. You know, there, there's something that we haven't talked about. Oh. What? The medication that Vanessa took for her illness. What? Well, I stopped taking it the minute I knew I was pregnant. Vanessa, you and I both know that it was an experimental drug, a very powerful one. The FDA hasn't even approved it yet. And we have no idea what the implications are of a pregnant woman taking it. We don't know what kind of effect it could have on a fetus. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> I mean, I had a glass of champagne before I knew I was carrying a baby. I, it, you're not going to tell Vanessa, me I have to worry about that. That's not exactly the same well, thing. I, you know, I've been pregnant before, and I've read all the books, and I know women have lives before they find out they're pregnant. They drink a little bit. They might smoke a little bit. They might take medication, but they find out they've 
going to have a baby and they stop. And they, most of them, have perfectly wonderful, strong, healthy babies. We're talking about women who are strong and healthy to begin with. I'm sorry. Vanessa, I know what you want to hear. And I wish to God I could give you the news that you want. But you can't. I, I can't tell you much more than Rick told you the first day. We just don't know what a pregnancy will do to this disease. There's a very, very good chance that it could make it spread extremely quickly. Or not at all. That's highly unlikely, Vanessa. Pregnancy sets off so many hormonal changes in a woman's body, it is all but impossible that it will not cause some change in yours. Of course, but it doesn't, it's, it's not a guaranteed death sentence. It's not. I, I never said it was a guaranteed de death sentence, but there's no guarantee of life either. Vanessa, come on, how much do you need to hear? I mean, he's trying to paint as positive a picture as he can here, but he is, it's impossible. The, the tunnel's dark, it's pitch black. No, no. The truth is that at the end of the tunnel is something that we don't know about. It, it, it's a mystery. We don't know. I know what the doctors have said, but they were wrong before. And I believe that they're wrong now. Vanessa, stop it. You're deluding yourself. I don't give a damn if there's a 99% chance that you could live and only 1% chance that you might die. It's still too much. I'm sorry, but I don't want you to have this baby. All right, Wanda, I'll tell you what. You win. I'm going to come over there for just a little while. I should be there in about 15 minutes, okay? All right, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. Just I just I want to stay and talk about thought. this some more. The, the conversation's not over, though, okay? I, I want to talk about our options. Okay. Blake, I'll see you. You, uh, you say hi to Ross for me, okay? okay? All right. Take care of it. Get your stuff. We've got a mission. Oh, I can't wait to. <laughs> oh, Mama, forgive me. Forgive me for what I'm about to do. Hey, um, hang on just a sec. A little bit. We'll go get Scout. Philip? Yeah? What are you doing? Uh, I'm just making sure that everything is clear. That's a really good idea. You know what? I think you better look under that magazine. Don't start with me. Something... Don't start with me. If Annie had arranged a little surprise for you, you wouldn't be laughing. Yeah. Well, I seriously doubt that's going to happen because my father is the one with the stalker, not me. Well, I'm just being careful. You don't know my father and Annie as well as I do. No, I don't. Maybe if I'd been paying a little bit more attention to the job, they wouldn't have been able to get something over on me. Well, that's your problem. I told you she's a wacko. You told me. Mm -hmm. But I am trained as a police officer, and I am trained to deal with wackos, her being the number one wacko. And maybe if I hadn't been so distracted by other things, I could have given some attention to that job. What saying. other things? You really want to know? Yeah. You really want to know? Yeah. You. You are one big distraction. said anything for a little while. What's up? What are you thinking? Huh? I know how Philip feels. What do you mean? To look at a woman he used to know. Come on, you know me. You know me better than anybody I else. I thought I did, Annie. I thought I knew you. But you took me in just like you did all the others. That's not true. That is not true. I feel like deception to you. Does, does this feel like I'm deceiving you, Ellen? I, all I do, all I want is you. That's it. Don't insult no, me. No, I'm not insulting you. Would you listen to me? All I want is you. Well, you should have thought about that before you tried to hurt Harley Cooper. I, I don't deny it. I know you did it. Okay. I didn't want to seriously hurt her, though. That wasn't my plan. I'd never do that. I, I don't know what happened to her. She just... Harley stopped. almost went through the skylight, Annie. Nothing was going to happen to her. She was on the second floor. You will... You will never learn, will you? 
never learned. If she had died, Annie, you could have been charged with murder. Would have, could have. That didn't happen. I specifically told you to stay away from her, but no, you had to go right ahead and do whatever suited you. I wanted to teach her a lesson. Yeah, a lesson that could have cost us everything. We were supposed to be partners, weren't we? Ellen, come well, you've got on, a we lot are partners. No, you've got a lot to learn about partnership, Annie. About how, how you honor an agreement. Neither one of us was supposed to make a move without the other one knowing about it. But you can't do that, can you? You have to run off and do something crazy. Hey, whoa, don't call me that. I never treated you that way. I was always honest with you. I always told you the truth. But you couldn't do that to me. And that hurts me very much, Annie, that you couldn't do it. I trusted you. I trusted you over and over again. But it proved every time to be a mistake. No, it's not a mistake, please. I'm sorry I didn't tell you what I was doing. You get so upset. It's never, ever going to happen again. Damn right it's not going to happen again, Annie. Because I'm cutting my losses. And I'm cutting them now. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. I want you to leave. <sighs> Vanessa, I love you too much to take chances. To play the odds, that's something you do on Wall Street. That's not something you do with a woman you love. want to have this baby. And you don't think that I want it too? When Rick first gave us the news that you were pregnant, it was one of the happiest moments of my life. For a split second, I actually saw myself taking care of our, our little boy, our little girl, playing with him, watching him grow, taking him to school. But then all that fell apart when Rick told me that that having this baby meant that I might lose my wife. And now to hear Michael say that he doesn't know what effect that the experimental drugs could have on the baby, well, Vanessa, it's clear to me what to do. I mean, we're not just playing Russian roulette with your life. We're playing, we're playing it with this little baby, and it's just not fair. You and I have been, both been around long enough to know you don't always get what you want in life. And we've been given so much. I never thought I'd love someone the way that I love you. God has given me so much that I don't dare ask him for more. And I said, I'm going to get on my knees. And beg you. Please don't. Vanessa, I'm begging you, don't have this baby. Please don't do that. Please. Vanessa, I am not too proud of a man to beg to the woman that I love to grow old with me. Because you are the most important thing to me in this world. Now, Michael said we're running out of time. The longer that you keep this pregnancy going, the the greater your chances are of this disease coming back. So, Vanessa, please, you have, it, you have it inside of you to do something about this. Now, please, do it. It's okay. Come on in. I've made up my mind. Could you call Rick and the two of you make arrangements for me to terminate this pregnancy as soon as possible? Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. There's something wrong. All you gotta do is whistle, you know, just <laughs> lips together and blow. <laughs> Are you gonna be called in my bogey? Oh, no, I'm tripping <laughs> That's my That's great. Oh, yes, of course you would. Of course you would. In fact, I think you make a better bogey than... Uh, you know, I always thought I was more like Bergman, you know, than Bacall, but then, uh, is that okay? Okay. Is it good? Casablanca was one of my favorites. Really? Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake. That's my favorite movie, too, you know. Yeah? Yes, it is. Jen and I watched it the other night. No? Oh. Play it again, Sam. <laughs> oh, looking at you, kid. Uh, <laughs> frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> uh, um, can we stop? I did. You don't like my bogey? Oh, I do. It. I, I, I just... Um, I need to tell you something. About what? About me. I'm a distraction? Yes. And you're blaming what Annie did to you on me? No. No, I... I blame myself for that, but... Philip, my Ivy, I hope you took better care of the dog. Yeah, I watered the dog. You were saying? I'm, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get my life back on track, and in doing that, I need to concentrate on my work. I think that's a great idea, and I'm going to help you. No, I, see, I don't want your help, because when you help me... No, it's okay. I'm going to help you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move back in with Dad and Annie so I can keep tabs on them for oh, you. Oh, you, you don't have to do that. No, it's I, okay. I know how you feel about not your father. Problem. And besides, that's not really what I meant. I know when what I... you meant. But I'm going to do it anyway, whether you like it or not. Why are you being so stubborn about this? Why, why am I being stubborn? All right, forget I said that. Just... Hello? Oh, Frank. Hi. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I don't think there's going to be any lasting after effects from the drugs. No, really, I am okay. Philip Spaulding. I have to stay away from him. Far, far, far away from him. If I, if I don't stay away from him, because I could fall in love with him. <sighs> Would that be so bad? If I love him, he'll leave me. Maybe he won't. Oh, everybody leaves. Everybody leaves. I will. I will. I promise I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, bye. He's awfully sweet. What are you smiling about? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Reva? Reva, I'm home. Are you here? You're not here, I'm going. I'm gonna go do something I should have done a long time ago. You have to be joking. Come on, I don't have anywhere else to go. All right. I swear that I will never do another thing without you knowing. I've heard that before, Annie. Just give me another chance. No. I promise I will no. change. I have some place to go. No, Ellen! Please don't do this to me! <sighs> idea what revenge is. Now well, you need me to choose. about to find out. Oh, load nurse yeah. ratchet into the car. Let me get her Crit feet. Mm. Okay, I'll let me turn her this way. Oh, she's heavier than she looks. Come on, God.
This has been Guiding Light. Footwear provided by Coach. You rely on the CBS Evening News to get the whole story. We rely on Experience, the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. Experience you can trust.